Hello again, in this video we're looking at animation. This is part six of the basic Blender series. So we're back to our scene and we have two windows here and I want to get rid of one of them so I only have one over here. You left click on the corner, drag it to the side that you want to get rid of and you have this arrow up here and you can get rid of that window. So I've got just one window. Now the animation is going to be nice and simple. It's going to be the car just driving across and a bit later on I might put in some street lights. So let's look through our camera and we want to position our camera so we can go off the camera easily. So we'll start over here and finish over here. So let's come out of that camera view and the scene's quite messy at the moment. It's got lights, a floor and different objects for the car. So what I should do is to put these things onto layers. If I select my lights to start off with, one, two, three, press M, I can move them to a different layer and I'll move them to the second layer like this. So now they're on the second layer you can see it's got objects on the second layer. These are my layer tabs down here, but we're on the first layer. If I shift click the second one, that means both my layer two and layer one will be visible. Let's put the floor on layer three. So click the floor, press M to move it to a layer and click layer three. And now if I select layer three with shift, I have all three layers visible and I can see everything in my scene. But at the moment, all I want to see is my car. So let's click on layer one, which only has my car and my camera. That means it will be much easier to select all the objects at once and therefore easier to animate. A quick way to select all your objects, B to box select. So press B, drag over the objects you want to select and now we have them all selected and we can move them around together. Now I want to bring back my other window so click on the corner here with left click and drag and I don't need the toolbar for this one and I want to be in camera view so press 0 on the numpad and I'm going to move my car to the starting position just off camera there. Now down the bottom here you have a timeline and at the moment we're at frame 1. It has the start time here and the end time here. Our animation is going to last 3 seconds so it's going to go up to 75 frames because we have it set to 25 frames per second. You can see these things as well in the render tab. So our frame rate is actually 24 frames per second. I can change that to 25 which is the same as PAL. It's a little bit easier to divide up. That means every second there will be 25 still frames. In order to animate, I need to set a keyframe and tell the computer where I want to start my objects in the animation. So make sure your mouse is over this screen and press I for insert keyframe and press location. So it's set a keyframe for this location. Now if I move my timeline to frame 75, which is 3 seconds, and then move my car to the other side of the screen and make sure my mouse is over this viewport again and press I insert keyframe for location. I've inserted two keyframes, one at 75 and one at one. So now when I drag across it's worked out the in-between frames and it drives my car across the scene. So that's simple animation. It's about inserting keyframes in different positions at different times. The important thing to remember is set the time you want the thing to happen, then move your object where you want it to go and set the keyframe. So this is just going to be a very simple animation and now I'll show you how to render out the animation. So on our rendering tab eventually we want to press animation but before we do that we need to tell Blender where we want it to go. Do remember your samples. This will take a long time to render as it's 500 samples and it has to render 75 of them. Let's turn this down a little bit to 200. Also I'm going to come down to 50% of full HD resolution so it renders a bit faster. The other thing I need to change is the output. Now you can do this in two ways. You can have still frames or you can have a video file. Still frames can be better but you do have to put them together to make a video afterwards. So we're just going to go for a video file. So H.264 because it's got good compression. The last thing to change is where it's going to. So at the moment it's going to a temporary folder. Let's change that and I'll just put it onto my desktop and call it test. The very last thing which you must remember to do is to make sure that all your layers down here are on. So if I hold down shift and select the other two layers we get our lights and our floor. Now I can press animate. So here's the finished animation. I did add a motion blur to the end result. That's just a click box on your render settings. I thought it would be interesting to spice the scene up a little bit uh, by adding a road and street lights and a really basic cityscape in the background. So here's a time lapse of me doing that. It's all just cubes 
and textures. And then once I've added the lamp posts, I just added a spotlight pointing down towards the road. I moved the camera slightly and I changed the lights back to nighttime. And here's the finished render. So that completes the basics of Blender. In the next set of tutorials, we'll be making a low poly tank, which takes these techniques we've learned and moves them one stage further. So we'll look at modifiers and improve our modeling skills. Thanks for watching.